This was a collective effort, and strength in numbers is alive and well. <laughs> I can't wait. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength in numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. <laughs> I can't wait to retweet that thing. Freaking bum. That, I had to watch that. I'm just like, this freaking cloud. Okay. 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 Sorry. That memory just popped up. You're going to mock us? Like, you ain't ever been there before, bro. We've been there. We know what it takes. So to be here again, hold that. Oh, so that Grizzlies player would be Jaron Jackson, and that was back in March. Stephen A., what do you think about Clay calling out Jackson and remembering all that? Well, that's Clay Thompson, number one. What I would say, let's understand it in its proper context. Jaron Jackson Jr. is no bum. That brother's 22 years of age. He's got a bright future, 16-point-per-game scorer, had 2.3 blocks in the NBA this year. I think, I think that led the league, 2.3 per game. Jaron Jackson is legit. He was just young and made a very foolish mistake. And I think that's what Klay Thompson was saying. Klay Thompson knows he's no bum. Klay Thompson knows he could play. Klay Thompson knows this brother's got a promising future. He was just saying, wait a minute, respect your elders. We've been here before. We know what the hell we're doing. You ain't get there yet. Show some damn respect. Yeah. That's all he meant by that. He ain't mean that Jaron Jackson's some bum that can't play. He Steve said, that you, how dare you be disrespectful. That's all he meant, but it's Klay, and he's entitled to clap back. That's what champions have the luxury of being able to do. I would like to congratulate the Golden State Warriors. I would like to congratulate you, Stephen A., for calling this like it was at the beginning of the season. All I'm going to say is when the 2022-2023 season comes here, all I'm going to think about is this. Because that's Ja Morant on the sideline imitating Stephen Curry because I think that's going to be one of the best rivals in all of basketball. So you call him a bum, call him whatever. I can't wait to see that next year. I can't wait for it. I, Stephen A., I, I just want to tell going you. going back to the finals. Okay. Three words on this rare occasion. You were right. Oh. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.